Welcome back, I'm Dan the Dinosaur Drawer and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw a realistic dinosaur eye. So we're going to be using a reference image from the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World because um, it's got a very cool eye and it's not really a dinosaur but it's a hybrid between T-Rex and Velociraptor so they're both pretty cool meat eaters and it's one of the best reference images i found. So yeah, we're going to begin by putting in a little outline before we actually get into the detail. This is of course going to be not just the eye but some of the scales around it because just drawing the eyeball would be kind of weird. So bear with me, we'll put in the outline and then we'll dig in. So we're basically going to have a line going through the center and that's where we're going to base off all the scales. Scales going up this way and this way. And it's got some big ridge right here with these monster sized scales. And then, yeah, we're basically just going to make the drawing this size. You can fill up your whole paper, that's fine. I just don't want to get, this will be like hand moving space. Some people comment on my other videos that my hand gets in the way and they can't see. So I'm going to try and avoid that some in this video. So yeah, we're going to start on this side since I'm right handed and the majority of the population is. So we'll start by putting in the scales. And leave a little space between each scale. To make it look more natural. So I've had some people comment that they would like me to do a video on how I do my shading. So I'll try and teach you guys a little bit of that today as well. Making a little box here for our drawing. I'll probably move that line a little bit here because the reference image is quite small as well very focused in on the eye. So it's very, if you want to draw a dragon eye, it would, this would be a great video as well. Because dinosaur dragon eyes, when it's up, when it's this close up, are going to be very, very similar. So this almost looks like a bunch of stones, like when you see on a stone wall. But they're in fact dinosaur scales. So that looks pretty good. Let's put keep on putting the scales in. Almost like giraffe pattern. Let's zoom in a bit. So you guys can see a bit better. So yeah, now we're gonna head in and do some of the eye got its lids, the lid of the eyes partially closed. We want to get the whole eyeball feel, so this will be the lid, top lid. Here will be the bottom one. So it's got, if, you have, if you've seen The Hobbit, Battle of Five or yeah, Battle of Five Armies or Desolation of Smog, you'll see that its eye looks very similar to the Indominus Rex eye. Both have very similar look. So the even this is a very scaly creature, the Indominus Rex. It even has scales on its eyelids. So I think this picture comes from the scene where Zack and Gray, the two kids from Jurassic World, are in, upside down in their um, gyrosphere and the Indominus Rex is staring at them. Very cool scene. The Ankylosaurus vs. Indominus Rex is one of the coolest scenes for me in the whole Jurassic World movie. Even though I love the T-Rex oh, scene at the end. So, 
So now we're going to put in the eyeball. It almost looks like the eye of Sauron from Lord of the Rings. We've got fire coming out. Of course, it's not. we're not going to make it look exactly like the photograph because it's very detailed and hard to replicate, but we'll do our best. I'm just making an so right here on the edges, it's going to be a little darker. So you're going to take your pencil and shade it in. I know you all know this, but I'm using a Graph Gear 500 mechanical pencil that I got on Amazon. I highly recommend it. And I know a lot of you have gotten this pencil. And not this one, <laughs> this one. Um, and I've really liked it, so. Some people even commented on a review I did of on a mechanical pencil. They're like, are you getting sponsored for this? I'm like, no, <laughs> I just really recommend this pencil to any type of artist. And even I use it for writing. Because it's, unlike other mechanical pencils, it, it does break, the lead does break frequently but not as frequent. So that's a big pro. So let's put some more shading around the eye here. I'm just gonna shade in the areas that I designated already. This is just like a shading pencil. I bought like a set of pencils a few years ago. I've lost most of them. I've got like three of them left and this is one of them. So you want to get the eye pretty dark or the pupil in the center. You want to get that pretty dark but then also we want to there's some like light shining over it which will give it the realistic look. Because like, there's like Stop breaking these areas out because they're a little lighter. Drawing human eyes is much easier than this Indominus Rex eye. It's very complex looking. Okay. And with pencil especially, it's quite difficult to master. But basically it's going to have lines coming out from both directions. This area right here is shaded in as well. So I'm planning on, last year I did a trilogy video, uh, three videos on three sea creatures from Jurassic World the game. And I'm planning on doing something like that again this year. So I would love if you guys submitted your comments below. You can do it on this video or maybe the next video I do. But um, yeah, I would really appreciate which sea creatures you guys would like me to draw next. I'll try and get to them. And I'll probably have the three videos all next to each other. And yeah. It was pretty popular last year, the sea creature videos. So we're just gonna... It's got like some it looks like fire in its eyes, but that's of course very difficult to draw. So just swirl your pencil around like this, randomly. The more random it is, the more organic it will look, and less man-made. So 
to the eye looks very good. And we're just going to put a little more shading here on the lower lid. Then make the eye look a little more glossy. We have these um, reflections, light reflections. That's what makes eyes look very realistic, is if you put the reflection of the sun in it. So this side is a little more lighter than that side. So that looks pretty realistic. I hope yours looks equally good, if not better. I have a Google Plus community called Dinosaur Art, and some people post some drawings that they did for my videos that look better than the actual video. It's so impressive. Of course, it's a little harder in the video because we got more limited time. Right now I'm going to work on putting some more scales along the top lid. Basically have lines arcing across like that. You can just fill each line in with scales. Like so. Just have them each connected to each other, like so. So that looks pretty realistic. I'm planning on doing a live stream this weekend, or maybe, I don't know, sometime during the week, but I would like to do it when most of you guys are available. I was extremely excited. I did my I did two live streams around last week. And there's people from all over the world who were on I think I can't remember your usernames, but there's some one kid from Finland, some people from Asia, someone from the UK. Just all over the world. That was pretty cool. I I thought most of my audience was American, but apparently not. There's like people from Australia, New Zealand, Brazil, China. So that's another thing you can comment below. I'm very interested in what countries are watching my videos. And also, I'm really happy that you guys are doing the community translating thing to translate some of my videos, so keep up the good work if you're the one who's translating my videos. And if you, like, speak both English and another language, please, I would recommend you help translate. So it must be much harder to watch a YouTube video if you don't understand the language, obviously. So right here, we're just going to shade half of the eye, or the eyelid, the lower eyelid. Dominus Rex is a very armored eye. Dominus Rex is so powerful and, or, yeah, so powerful in Jurassic World that I think they should make a level 5 in Dominus Rex for the game. Like, I know all the dinosaurs get leveled up to level 40, and that's as high as you can upgrade them, but it would be really cool since Indominus is so special if they made a level 5 for Indominus. I'm really not sure if, if they might release a new game of Jurassic World for the new movie. 
Or they might just put a big update on the old game. Both would be cool, but I think it would be cool to have a new game as well. Because I have a feeling the new Jurassic World movie is much different than the, than the Jurassic World 1. I hope they keep it more traditional to Jurassic Park movies, though. Because I know there's probably going to be some militaristic dinosaurs. Which I'm okay with, but I like. That was one of the cool facts about the Jurassic Park movies. That was it was okay in Jurassic World, but I didn't like that the raptors were so trained. Like they were still dangerous, obviously in the movie, but they were pretty controllable. At least Owen can control them. So now I'm shading. So the secret to shading is really just practice. Like I just automatically know sort of where to shade. But like for these scales, you just shade on the edge. Like so. And leave the the better part of the top unshaded because it's the sides are the ones that are not gonna catch the light and therefore they're gonna be dark. I've done exercises where you just like pick an object and put it out on a table in the sun. Obviously it's better if the sun is like lower in the horizon than right above. But then you can capture the, the shading pretty well with a strong light. Like in a room dimly lit it's very hard to pick out the shadows but I like really striking shadows. If I put this eraser here, it's probably not a really good example, but you can see the shadow behind it. Um, or if it's at some certain angle, you'll see that there's light spots as I turn it. There's dark on one side and light on the other side. So yeah, it's all about where the light is not touching is where <laughs> you put, draw the shadow. It does take some practice and I'm still in my eyes, I'm not a very good shader. I've worked with some artists who were amazing at shading. But they were, they're adults already, so... They've had lots of practice. Also, another tip that I think I've given you guys in some of the other videos is if you're looking at, like, a reference image, like, um your tablet or from a book. If you squint your eyes, you will like squint them so you can't, so it's almost blurry. You'll be able to pick out the dark and light spaces much easier that way. So if I squint right now, I will see that it's quite dark right here, then right here. It's going to be dark and it's most light in this quadrant right about here. So that's a really good tip. I'm sure I've had people comment, oh, it actually does work. And yeah, it does work. If you just squint your eyes, you'll be able to see the dark and light spots much easier than by just looking at it. So it's all about training your artistic eyes, if you, if you will. I'm definitely still in that process So yeah, now we're going to put a line here, because that's where the first ridge is going to be. Shade behind that. So I hear a new dinosaur is coming out in Jurassic World the game. The name escapes me right now, but it's apparently the strongest one coming out. Might have already come out, I haven't checked lately.
but I will be sure to draw it if it has not already come out. And I do read the comments, so even on some of my older videos, I get a lot of comments. I don't read those as often as the new videos, because otherwise I would be like I would have to <laughs> be responding day and night, because I get like about 50 comments a day on average. I get a lot. When I first released a video is when I like to respond to the new comments, not to like the comments of someone, like a video I released two years ago, or not, my channel's not around for that long, or a video I released like a year ago. And then they'll be asking a question about a drawing I did a long time ago. And I've forgotten what I said in the video and stuff like that, so... Yeah, be sure to comment on the new videos if you want to get... if you want me to read your message. So right now we're just gonna continue putting in scales. This looks very cool. Hope yours looks just as good. I smeared this area a little bit, so we're just going to erase, give it more of a brilliance there. So as I said, this area right here is going to be quite dark. I'm going to have to sharpen this pencil for a minute. Now we got nice and sharp. I'll be able to draw in some of the shadows. So I, yeah, I encourage you to squint your eyes. Uh, just pick like any random picture. Might be a picture hanging on a wall in your room or basically anything you really. Just squint your eyes and you'll be able to tell the light places from the dark places more easily than normal. So we're just going to put some shading in here. The right corner of the drawing is going to be the darkest. And also, if you're, I haven't gotten many of response from this, but if you want me to send you a signed copy of one of my drawings, please, you can email me at dannythedinosaurdrawer at gmail.com. Just send me your address in an email, and I will send you a signed copy of it doesn't matter even if you live overseas because I have international stamps. So just in case you guys want to receive a signed copy, I will gladly send one. So I'm going to add some brightness to this eye. Some more shading in. And then we'll add these scales along the wrinkles above the eyelid. This is looking very swell. So we're going to shade each individual one here. See, when you get much closer up on a section of a dinosaur, I apologize, that's the sound of a car starting up. When you get closer up on a dinosaur, you'll see that they are much more detailed than they sometimes appear from a 
little farther off drawing. So we'll shave in this scale here. I'm going to try and stop at 30 minutes. So it would be ridiculous if I took that long to draw an eye. But we're not just drawing the eye. We're drawing a lot more than that. So here's where the two basically lines of scales meet. And then they, our line is going to be right about here. Then they continue, they begin to curve downward. So right here in this fold of skin, the scales are similar to here, they're very small and thin. So put those in. A fast way to draw scales is just to twirl your pencil around like this. And even though this doesn't leave an effect as neat as if you hand drew each one, it's very quick and you can do it. It looks almost as good. So like if I'm doing a professional painting, or not painting, like really good sketch, I would not probably draw the eye this big, but I would probably use a much bigger piece of paper if I'm going to draw like a full body T-Rex or something. So yeah, like most cartoonists, or like for Marvel comics or anything, they will draw each little square much bigger than it looks like in the comic book. But once they minimize it, like in the copy machine, it looks much more detailed that way. It's a very cool, not really a trick, but just a way to make it look better. So now we're just going to add the scales along here. I have another channel, of course, I think a lot of you know this already, Danny Draws & Co. It's just a very small channel, we only have around 74 subscribers right, right now. But I have released some cool videos on there. They're mostly time lapsed. I only have like one or two of me talking. But some of the time lapse ones are pretty cool. I have one of me speed drawing Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit. One of um, Gandalf the Grey from The Hobbit. I've drawn a dragon from Game of Thrones, which is the most popular video on that channel. At around 2,500 views. Um, and then some other random drawings. Of course, none of them are dinosaur related because I would have them on this channel if they were, but there are some di some dragons, and some cool stuff like that. So you don't have to go subscribe to that channel, but it just I would recommend you at least check it out and see if you like it. So right here is going to be the place where it's going to be most light. So we're just going to take our eraser and erase a bit. It would be better though if I put the rest of the scales in first. These scales are a little more elongated, less rounded than the ones up there. So this corner right here, I'm going to take off because that's where we're going to sign our name. 
So yeah, this looks very cool. It's gonna erase this area a bit. Get more of a realistic shade. Looks, you can make use this as a dragon eye or as your Indominus Rex eye, so I'm just gonna sign my name. And put the date. I usually just put the year, but it's okay if you wanna put the date. I like the full date. And if you're watching this in 2018, then put 2018. Don't copy what I wrote and put 2017. Sometimes I find some great artwork of mine in a folder and it'll be from like 2015. I'm like, wow, that's better than what I'm drawing now. <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time. So yeah. This is the final drawing of how to draw a dinosaur eye. I hope you've come the full way and drawn the full drawing. And yeah, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment what you'd like me to draw next. And leave a like to show your appreciation. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.